Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a quick and simple brick oven. The other week on Truly Bedrock, I made a brick oven very similar to this one here. Now, the design that I'm showing you today is slightly different than the one that I showed in my episode. It is a lot more simple when it comes to the redstone, and for those who caught the episode, the storage system is one block higher in the episode I had it down here but what we have is a regular old campfire that is going to cook our raw meat and then of course be collected into our barrel here and this whole build fits within a 3x3 three three area with very minimal redstone showing so as you can see we have just the buttons and then our two dispensers that contain our bucket of water and flint and steel so this is a great little build that can fit in your backyard for a little brick oven design or wherever you'd like to place it. Let's go ahead and take a look. The raw meat is cooked. That is down below. And the features that we have here is this button will turn off the campfire. And then this one will turn it back on, which I think is pretty cool. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make it. To make this redstone brick oven, you are going to need a 3x3 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for this build. So what we have are two dispensers, two observers, one hopper, six redstone dust, two stone buttons, one barrel, one campfire, one bucket of water, one flint and steel, and then of course your building blocks. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is grab our barrel, and place it right here front and center. Next, grab your hopper, come around to the back side of the barrel and crouch place the hopper into the back of the barrel like that. Now go ahead and grab your campfire, crouch place that campfire on top of the hopper, and the collection system is all set up. Now for our dispensers, before we place those in, go ahead and knock out this block and this block. Get your observer, Place your observer facing in this direction, so we have the red dot facing up like that, and then the other one the same way. So again, both of these are facing up with the red dot. Now grab some blocks, place them here and here, then grab your dispensers and place them facing the campfire. So right there, that's going to be the one for the water directly in the back, and then place this one there facing the campfire in this direction. So there we go, that is all set up. Now let's go ahead and place in the redstone. For the redstone, what we're going to do first is knock out this whole area and go two blocks down like this. So we can knock all of this out just like that. Now what we're going to do is place a block here, get your redstone dust, place dust there and dust there. And you can hear that dispenser ticked, so the observer detected this here. Now for this one, all we're going to do is place a block here, redstone dust, 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 and dust, and believe it or not, that is the redstone all set up. Now normally I like to have fancy redstone down below, but honestly you don't need to have it that complicated for this build. This is all you really need. Now what we're going to do is we need to power this redstone, so let's go ahead and place a block on top of that one and a block on top of that dust. Get your stone buttons and place that there and right there. So that is all done if we press this one that powers that dispenser and then if we press this one that is going to power that dispenser. Now before we place in the bucket of water in flint and steel let's go ahead and finish up the build. How you want to design it is personal preference but what I'm going to do is place these here like that. Come two blocks up, blocks here and then technically we can get this to function by just crouch placing our trap door right here and what this is going to do is not only does it add a nice visual look to it but it will also keep the water from pouring out so we can place our bucket of water there and flint and steel here so we press it that's going to contain that because if we didn't even though we get a quick little pulse it's going to be just enough to spill over so we don't want that. That's why we have that. And then of course, if we press this one, that is going to ignite the campfire. Now for the rest of this build, 
what I'm going to do is place stair blocks here. Stair blocks going in this direction. Block on top of that. And anytime you go over dispensers or anything that you can open the inventory to, always crouch place. Stairs like that. And then an upside down stair right there. So that is all done. And we have this little opening for the smoke to go through, which again, I think is a very cool visual effect. So that is the build all done. And as you just saw, we press this. That's going to turn off. That's going to turn back on. And then all we do is place our food on the campfire, let it cook, and go down into the barrel below to be collected. And there you have it, everyone. A simple brick oven for Bedrock Edition. With that being said, this is going to be the end of today's redstone tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.